great morning. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I want to talk about being free. Being free mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially. Freedom is not being able to do what you want when you want, right? You're not free because of what you have. You're free because of what you can live without. You're not free because of what you have. You're free because of what you can live without. Life, the longer you live, the more worldly things become influential in your life. The more things outside of you start to influence your life. And when you're not an independent thinker, these things can take over our life and define success for us and define, you know, the American dream, quote unquote, for you. It starts to quiet and make your independent thinking smaller and smaller as time goes on. And it becomes a trick to be able to control the masses of people. Right? And then that's how we get, that's how we become successful without fulfillment. To become successful without being fulfilled should be a crime. You got a goal, you set a goal, you accomplish the goal, but you still feel empty. You still feel like you, you didn't even do anything, right? It's because you, you created an unrealistic expectation of the feeling that you'll get from accomplishing a thing, right? What you accomplish can never amount to the same value of who you are. Whatever you accomplish can never amount to the same value which you already are as a person, right? Freedom starts with discovering you to the root of who you are as a person, as a soul, before you even became a person. You were created for something. You were created to be you. Not to be influenced by the world and live a life that you shouldn't be living. Whether you're quote unquote successful or not. You got to be in tune with you. You got to be in tune with your greater self. But the world is very good at distracting. The easiest thing to do, the easiest thing to do in the world is to get distracted. When you get distracted, it takes the focus off of you and becoming the best version of you. And you feel like you gotta buy this or wear this or get this degree or work this job to be successful. Well, when you do that, and you follow the masses and you're being controlled by the media and the news you lose in touch with your greatest blessing your greatest blessing is you and the greatest blessing that you can bring to yourself is freedom only you can set you free you gotta be in tune with you to be free because when you're in tune with you you're not tempted and you're not controlled by things that the world has to offer. That's freedom. Freedom is not what you have. Freedom is what you can live without. What you can be disciplined. How you can control your thinking. You can control your spending. You can control your lifestyle. I'm not, ask, I'm not questioning what you buy. Or what you decide to accomplish or go after. I'm questioning... I'm asking you to question, why do you do those things? Why do you buy those things? And how do they make you feel? Or how do you expect them to make you feel? But then afterwards, how do they really make you feel? Do you want more? Are you doing it for you? Or are you doing it because society has had some type of influence on you? Or because your parents told you to do it? Or because your peers are doing it? 
Why are you doing what you do? Are you freely thinking for yourself? Freedom ain't free. Freedom take hard work because the moment you're born, you go to school, and you're taught how to think. So after school, you got to self-educate. You got to find the person that was lost in all that education that you were influenced. I'm not saying school is bad, but it doesn't teach independent thinking. Don't lose yourself. That's your freedom. Yourself. Nobody can tell you about yourself. Free your mind. That way you can have a free life and live free. Because that's the blessing that you deserve. That's a blessing you owe yourself. Find freedom and never let go of it. God bless.